Hey, how's it going? Phil Rizzo here from Rizzo's Protective Group. You know, I think a lot of people are reading the cue cards. By that I mean they're saying everything that everyone thinks they should say, but they aren't living it. You know, telling the truth to someone, especially someone that you care about, shouldn't be seen as adding salt to the wound. If it's received like that, then the problem is on the receiving end, for sure. A lot of people aren't built for friendship and beyond because they can't take any constructive criticism. All they want to hear is praise, 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 praise. And all they heap on other people is praise, 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 so as to protect themselves from hearing the truth or having to dig in and do the hard work of developing themselves. The truth is, a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. I'm not God's PR man, but his command is simple. Love each other as he has loved us. If you can't handle the truth, don't be in the business of telling others what they should think or what, sh what they should do. If you can't handle the truth, don't paint with the truth. Here's the truth. The HR lady ain't perfect, regardless of what her front face image she puts forward or how tightly she clutches her fake pearls. You want to test a relationship? Disagree with someone and watch what happens. Agreement promotes zero growth. Love the truth even if it hurts you and hate lies even if they help you. Holding grudges isn't Christ-like behavior, no matter how much you try to convince yourself otherwise. Any disobedience is disobedience, and all sin leads to what, baby? Death. I'm working on me. You work on you. Thanks. Ciao.